Hello YouTube and today I wanted to go over gotcha gaming and gambling. Um, basically this is just going to be a quick video. Um, I wanted to go over two top things uh, for you to go ahead and analyze or re reflect on in your uh, gaming experience for online games uh, as well as like any type of uh, gotcha game experiences. Uh, and you know if I've been away for a while uh, just because uh, I've been busy. I've been working and I'm going to school full time. And the gotcha gaming experience has led me toward a heart changing uh, just like experience overall understanding as far as how a lot of people can go ahead and spend a lot of money on these games. And I feel like, you know, if you're worth millions of dollars, and you're spending a couple of thousand dollars on these games. I mean, that's just a drop in a bucket for you. But if you're worth, you know, a couple hundred dollars and you're spending every single dollar or half of your paychecks on these games, then that's what I kind of want to go over and just reflect upon uh, my personal gaming experience, my budgeting and everything else, how it went a little bit over con under control. Uh, it wasn't under control. Uh, through Top War and other types of uh, games, which uh, I've spent a couple of bucks on the uh, the Rush Royale game that I ended up playing, and I thought it was a pretty good, unique experience, but I've pretty much grown uh, accustomed to basically playing more free-to-play uh, for games and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's go over the top two reasons uh, what you might have to consider that you have some type of gaming, gotcha, gambling experience um, or problem. So the first thing is that you are uh, compulsively spending. And as far as compulsively spending goes, uh, I would like to go ahead and say that these games, uh, specifically um, games like Top War and stuff, have packages and promotions for a dollar for $5, for $20, and set, et cetera, like that. And you have to go ahead and make a decision, of course, within a specific amount of time because it's a promotion that ends up happening. And it's one of those things that uh, gives you a compulsive type experience that you are not going to find much of anywhere else uh, except for in these specific and I didn't mean to call out Top War specifically too much. I'm talking about The Walking Dead. I'm talking about, which I, I've recently, of course, played The Walking Dead. Uh, Survival, I think it's called. Um, and I've uh, played a couple of other games, of course, uh, recently, which gives you these promotions. And it's compulsive. And if you have a compulsive nature overall, you need to go ahead and reconsider your thought process as far as uh, putting that credit card in or whatever, um, especially if you're under the age of 18 and living on a very tight budget, of course, working on the farm or working for grass cuts, you should cutting grasses and stuff. You should just basically be cherishing every dollar that you have if you're under the age of 18, uh, honestly. And I don't think that you should be spending pretty much any money uh, on video games except for hard physical copies or, you know, the digital copy that you can download off your PS4 um, or uh, whatever, you know, that's, you know, the game that you just got to have, etc. Um, so uh, this is not really a budgeting class per se, but I'm really, you know, that's the second thing that we're going to go over is budgeting um, after I go over the compulsive uh, nature, of course. So as far as compulsive nature, um, specifically, I wanted to, you know, emphasize is that if you notice that you compulsively spend even at like the mall or uh, any type of online shopping or stuff like that, you probably need to consider having uh, a very strict budget uh, on your Google Play account or your Apple Store account uh, or whatever kind of service that you use on your cell phone. Um, and I don't know if you can set it up specifically, but... Um, you can go ahead and what I was saying, as far as budgets go, uh, you could specifically, I think, uh, 
make it to where you don't go over budget and stuff like that, which we're going to go over now uh, as far as budgeting goes. So compulsively spending is the first one. Budgeting is the second one, uh, second reason why you might have some type of gambling or uh, pro uh, gotcha game experience problem. Um, and when I talk about going over budget, if you are budgeting $50 a week on these games, you know, good on you. That's what you're spending. But I highly recommend that if you're only bringing in $500 a week and you're spending $50 a week, that $50 a week could probably go uh, better somewhere else. Uh, and as far as like, if you know that the full value of the game is going to be $50 um, based upon what you can actually accomplish your goals throughout the game, setting reasonable goals, because I'm going to tell you this, um, as far as budgeting goes, you're not going to be the top person in the world with $50. Um, it's just not going to happen overall. If you're budgeting $50 a week on a brand new game that's come out, there's going to be somebody who's budgeting $100. There's going to be somebody who's budgeting $1,000. And these people are clearly going to dump more money in. And it's also been rumored, as far as budgeting goes, that not only are you on specific games, uh, which I don't wish to call out, of course, but you can read forums and you can read more about this, but not only are you the person who's spending the $100 going to be spending the $100 and they get overshadowed or beaten by this other guy, but there's going to be, uh, I guess you can call them uh, uh, straw men, I guess, that the developers have allowed to be put into a part of the game that are going to be up on you because they're getting either a break, a discount break for the amount of money they're spending or they're actually the developers trying to get you and entice you to spend more money uh, or working with the developers to spend more money. And that's their job is just to go ahead and play the game uh, so that way they can get you to spend more money. So that's why, as far as budgeting goes, you need to go ahead and have a budget. And I personally, of course, recommend that you spend no more than 1% to 5% of your income uh, on or, or your net worth, for that matter, on these games if you're going to try to be highly competitive or whatever on these games. Specifically, I want to call out one uh, game, and that's Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, this game has been highly promoted, um, and I personally have played it. I think it's a pretty decent game, uh, and there's a lot of people out there as far as who have YouTube channels, this, that, and the other, and... I've heard some good responsible things from some YouTubers and uh, as far as the way they say, you know, only, you know, if you're going to be free to play, be free to play. If you're going to be budgeting, if you're going to be a whale, if you're going to be a da, 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 you know, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, OK, cool. You know, th this is great and all uh, the game itself. You want to have fun. That's the point of the game is to have fun and to be competitive uh, if you're going to be competitive. But like I said, don't cripple yourself as far as budgeting goes um, to put in, you know, five hundred or a thousand dollars and all you're making is two thousand dollars a month. You know, if you're if you're going to be playing these games and put 50 percent of your income, you would be better off buying yourself a PS5 and buying a few games, which at least have some resellability value to it. Um, so that way, if you ever need the money, you can go to the pawn shop and go get, you know, a fifth or a fourth or whatever the value is, um, you know, or half of the value. And you can go ahead and, you know, at least have a, a physical asset for that um, to be able to get some money in if you ever have to pay bills or something like that. So or go to eBay. I mean, eBay is getting a little more difficult, of course, to work with, but you at least be able to have, you know, monetary value with it. So yeah, going over budget. First of all, I want to say set a budget. Um, my recommendation is one to 5% of your uh, income uh, per week or month or whatever you get paid. 
And second of all is if you're going over budget, start to seek help. And I'm talking about talking to family members, friends. In fact, go ahead and comment on this YouTube channel. Um, go ahead and, uh, or comment on the, the video, of course. Um, and just, you know, your experience personally, if you feel like you've had a problem, um, you know, just say, man, I spent $5,000 on, you know, this game and I just can't believe I did it. You know, that's cool. I mean, you know, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, I spent $500, man. I won't, I've only spent a hundred dollars. I would never spend more than a hundred dollars on a game. I mean, it's one of those things that like, you know, the community out there, I feel needs to get a little bit stronger. Um, and I haven't really actually found a big, strong website or anything that, uh, deals with this except for like Reddit's, um, Reddit forums and stuff that I've seen. Uh, but you know, I, I personally want to just go ahead and like I said, if you have a problem, seek help. If you personally, of course, uh, have any type of gambling problems from the get go, you probably need to uh, back off of gotcha games. <laughs> so, and this is something, like I said, that I think will be changed in the near future with legislation. Um, it's something that I think that uh, will have some repercussions in the future here for other games um, and stuff. But uh, I, I personally am probably uh, with my job that I'm working with right now and my full-time school, I will not be able to bring a lot of videos and new content. Uh, so I wanted to bring something new to the table, uh, for this video session. So I appreciate you viewing. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, go ahead and like, and subscribe. I will try to bring in more stuff later. Um, and probably just some casual, just conversations for, uh, the, uh, the whole entire, uh, experience, I guess, of gaming. Um, and, uh, maybe in the future I'll be actually doing some live play or something like that. Uh, if I end up, uh, getting some time to be able to do that, uh, for like some good RPGs or something like that in the future, I don't know. Go ahead and comment on that too, uh, and see what you like to see from this video, uh, this video, um, YouTube channel. Uh, because I'm kind of lost to see where my viewership has gone. Uh, I'm personally just trying to survive like everyone.